Island Research presents Build Your Future 2002. The National Center, together with its publishing partner, Prentice Hall, develops and publishes the industry's leading construction curricula, the ConTrend Learning Series. Consider the National Center and ConTrend the answer to all your construction education needs. In today's program, we are going to explore the wide world of construction industry. Okay, is, is this thing on? Okay, uh, are, are, are you going? We're ready? Okay. I'm here today to talk to you about interesting careers in optimizing compilers. Imagine working in your own laboratory day after day creating a compiler which provides a high level of design through an optimizer, a code generator, and an allocator, and a, the mode of RIS. Thinking about what you're going to do with your life? Take a look at construction, where you can make a real difference and leave your mark on the world. Construction demands excellence. Every day is like a new challenge. I like building things. I get to work with a lot of different people. I recommend the work of construction. Construction builds a world of opportunity. I make something out of nothing. I take pride in my work. Teamwork! During this program, we'll tell you about some rewarding careers and why the construction industry drives our nation's economy, why the work of a construction craft professional demands excellence, and how a construction career can build a world of endless opportunities for you. Throughout this program, you'll meet the talented men and women of the construction industry as they build America. In Massachusetts, we'll visit Wayne J. Griffin Electric, an electrical contractor providing training for their employees. In Texas, with KBR, we'll learn about industrial construction and the important role it plays in all our lives. In Atlanta, Georgia, we'll see the Georgia Tech Expansion Project, a Holder Hardin joint venture. In Washington, D.C., we'll work with Hensel Phelps Construction Company at the Pentagon Renovation Program. In Tucson, we'll ride along with Caterpillar on some of the world's most powerful heavy equipment. To begin, let's go to Phoenix, where Delta Diversified Enterprises is the electrical contractor for one of the country's largest resorts. This is a one million square foot facility uh, with uh, a swimming pool, hotel rooms, restaurants, golf course, everything. My name is Fernando Sandoval Resco, and I'm a journeyman electrician and an electrician foreman. My job as a foreman is to read the blueprints and to uh, interpret what the architect and the engineer have, want us to do and to actually build it, to put it together. Uh, this is where the power comes in and this is, this is where the meter is, this is how they tell how much electricity they've used. And, and these switches here go to the other respective panels that distribute the electricity throughout the building. But it's really a great feeling of satisfaction knowing that you've, you've helped put something together like that. Especially when you're driving around with your family and your friends and you point out a building and say, hey, I did that, you know, I did the electrical system in there. Uh, I do it a lot. Sometimes people just tell me, okay, enough. <laughs> feeling great about what you do is why more than six million Americans choose construction. We see the job site when the job site is, is nothing but just a slab of concrete and we watch the building actually grow. It's really kind of cool to see how things are made and it gives you a good feeling after you've done that it's built. My name is Jamie Archer. I'm a crane operator. These tower cranes are fast. They cover the whole job site, the radius of the whole job site. Some job sites you need to have several cranes on them. As the boss tells me, I'm the backbone of, of, the, of the job site. I'm the first one here in the morning, I'm the last one to leave. If this crane's not running, all the trades are shut down. These guys are, are fighting over the hook. I wake up in the morning, at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I can't wait to get out of bed because I'm going to work. It's the best job I've ever had. I love every minute of it. Even when it's a bad day, it's a great day. I got my start right out of high school. It's been a very rewarding and prosperous career. I've made a great life for myself as a heavy equipment operator. 
We get paid very good money. We are professionals and we get paid for being professionals. They gave me this building about a month ago and they said you're going to be the lead man and that's your job. So uh, and I've never done anything like this before so it's, it's an experience and I'm learning an awful lot. Hi, I'm Mike Sorrell. Mike Sorrell from Orlando, Florida. And I'm an iron worker. I fabricate steel and erect it. I wouldn't want a job where I sit behind a computer all day. Uh, I like my job, how it varies from day to day. I like the outdoors. I like working with my hands. Right now I'm going around checking all the structural bolts on the purlins connected to the mainframes to make sure they're all tight and secure. Tight and secure. Every weld, every angle, every bolt. Everything we do has to be right. The purlins are the structural framing that supports the roof and after that then they'll be insulated and metal paneled. Sometimes the blueprints don't work and you have to fabricate something that does work. That does work. It's nice to be driving around sometimes and you drive by a building that you had a purpose in putting it up and you know you see it and it kind of makes you proud. It's really good to have a trade and this is really a good trade to be in financially and a eh, little ego too just to know that you can do it. We're in every wall, we're in every ceiling, we're in the ground, we're everywhere. We're, we take part in the whole building. We're there from the beginning to the very end. It's actually a living building. It's actually living and breathing when we're done. In construction, you don't only build, you rebuild, you repair, and you improve, and sometimes help us heal. You get the phone call, you're like, you're going to work at the Pentagon. I wasn't sure what part of the Pentagon. It's incredible, and you, you can tell anybody you want to that you work at the Pentagon, and you know, they don't ask you where that is. It's amazing to be able to work on such an amazing project, being at the Pentagon, and the feel of patriotism here, it's just really neat. You helped build it back, and now everyone's proud of it. We're building the Pentagon. It's a great vibe. I can uh, honestly say to my kids when they get a little older, I helped put the Pentagon back together after a tragic event. I just feel like uh, I'm part of history. That's excellent. I, I, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Satisfaction. Pride. The industry that drives our economy. What economists and statisticians look to most when defining impacts on economic markets are key indicators on a double declining basis. For instance, significant increases in economic activity results from biotechnical, that's biotechnical, insurance, and of course, entertainment industry which motivates financial markets around the... Every financial analyst has an opinion, but one hard rule the world over is that construction drives the economy. Whether it is to build homes, schools, power plants, highways, everything begins with construction. You start out with a piece of blank land and you go in and you start constructing. A lot of people are in the computer industry. Well, you know, all those buildings have to be built. Everything that uh, goes on in this whole world is related to the construction industry. Business and industry depend on construction. And so do you, your family, and your neighbors. Construction in a community brings new job opportunities. This is a 50-year structure. It will employ approximately 1,500 people for the life of the building. That has a significant impact on the local economy. Well, these buildings will enhance this area, and then the growth around it will also generate other growth. We build the plants that, that produce plastics, produce gasolines and oil. Every, every one of us use all the products that are produced in the plants that we build. If we're not producing it, we're importing it. People need to buy it from us to, to keep our economy strong. Construction is the driving force in our economy. As one of the largest industries in our country, construction builds the foundation for all other industries to create and market their products. Now, if you want to be a craft professional, there are a few things you should know. Construction demands excellence. Ideas become real through construction. I make something out of nothing. This job requires precision. I take pride in my work. Construction demands excellence. The next time you step into an elevator, know that it arrived at the construction site in many pieces and parts. Elevator constructors assemble and install the elevator, applying many different craft skills, including electrical, welding, and carpentry. You might not think twice about the rubber in your tires, the gas in your car, or the plastic in your sunglasses, all made from chemicals and materials that are produced in industrial plants like this. These plants wouldn't be possible without highly skilled craft professionals, like instrumentation technicians who oversee the many gauges and instruments needed to keep the plant running smoothly, or pipe fitters. They prepare and install all the pipes. 
and millwrights make sure all machinery is synchronized and working perfectly. A uh, millwright's job is very important because we're keeping the machinery running as long as possible for the client. Instrumentation is important to plan operations. Each instrument has to be accurate. No situation is ever exactly the same. Everything's different. You're always learning. Everybody really does have to work together to get all that stuff done. Those are big pipes. You gotta work somewhere. You might as well be you working at something you like to do. So you might as well just get up and get after it. Make sure when you get done that you can look back and be proud of what you did. I love this job because it's important. I like to take pride in my work. By now, you may be wondering, how do I prepare for a career in construction? You can start right now, just like these students at Maxwell High. We uh, attract students who are pretty much interested in construction only, and they come to this center to learn vocational and technical skills. It's, it's really neat when they're teaching the kids residential wiring, commercial wiring, uh, the first time that they hook up a project and we actually plug it in and turn it on, when that light comes on, it's like a light comes on inside of them too. They really get excited and feel that, yeah, I can do this. Hey, my name is Carlos Cordova. Carlos Cordova, I come to the school of Maxwell to learn construction. These three way switches control this light and this one controls this light. This switch only controls this light. Oh yeah, I enjoy carpentry and electrical work because there's a lot of opportunities in these jobs. Electricians just got paid really good money. I hope I can get an apprenticeship program for electrical because I, I really like working with my hands. And the teacher, you know, they're really good. They teach you step by step all the way through to the whole year. This particular circuit is far more complicated than almost anything you find in the house. You've done a good job with it. Thank you, sir. My plans to own my own company like everybody else. I had no clue at all how to do this before I came here to Maxwell. And uh, they've taught me a lot. Basically, we learned everything there is to know about construction. Roofing, plumbing, electrical. And it's so much fun. They're all great. It's, you know, they all work hard, and we have fun doing it. So it's not a drag. Hi, my name is Jonathan Chase. Jonathan Chase. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm enrolled in Maxwell High School, and I'm in the construction class. And we work on four main areas, carpentry, plumbing, electrical, and masonry. What we're doing right here is uh, you have to mix the mortar, the mortar where it's a certain consistency where it sticks, like that, like that. And if you don't, you don't get enough air in it, it'll go flat and then it'll, it'll just, all your, all your blocks and stuff will sink. I feel that if you're going to do something, then you should do it right the first time and not be sloppy about it. I'm setting the other block on top and it's important to uh, make sure you grab the block by the web. It's thicker on one side than it is on the other. This side's a little thicker, so you can grip it with your fingers. Then the opposite side. And this side, this side always goes down, the web always goes up. You have a certain feeling that, you know, everything you build has a little bit of yourself in it. You can say that, hey, I built that, you know, it's part of me. It took my sweat and, you know everything else to build it. I, I didn't know anything about laying brick or block or anything before I came to this class and I just kind of got into it and liked it a lot. So it all came together pretty quick for me. We'd like to see kids have a career in construction, a, a lifetime career. It's rewarding and pays well and they can feel satisfied with at the end of the day. Throughout your entire career you need to be committed to learning. Delta Diversified Enterprises and Wayne J. Griffin Electric are two of the country's largest electrical contractors. Both companies recognize the importance of education. We look at the training as the development process of the culture and the character and the counseling of the development of each person. It's a huge advantage to, to have this knowledge when you walk onto the job site. You're not shy and, and step back and, geez, you know, I don't know if I can do this. I can do this because I learned it. With the training I've received at Griffin Electric, I have a skill that I can use and work anywhere in the country. When I come to work, it's great because the people that I work with respect the fact that I have this knowledge and experience and they know that I'm able to do my job well. You learn a lot. And it's kind of a challenge, so that's what I like also about it. You've got to be trained, you've got to know what you're doing, uh, and you will immediately move up in the ladder and you will be rewarded for it. My employer, Delta, they uh, pay for our schooling, 
and at the end of each semester they give us a raise when we finish the program. I can tell the difference immediately which guys have had the schooling, which guys have not had the schooling. It's not complicated to learn how to bend the pipe and how to install the conduit. It's also important to understand why you're doing it and, and the whole picture of it because it'll help you reason and solve problems more effectively. Andy, Sean and Kathy are all advancing in their careers by taking advantage of the learning opportunities their employers offer them. I'm Marty Dean. I'm Jim Schoen. We're at Caterpillar's Tanaha Hills Demonstration Application Center in the high Sonoran Desert. The first machine I ever operated was a 1954 Formal M tractor. Now I'm running a D11R dozer with 850 horsepower. It's a total adrenaline rush operating a piece of equipment to this caliber. It's almost like driving in an apartment complex around. You have to really watch your right side of the truck. This is a dust and temperature controlled cab with an air ride seat, electronic fingertip controls, and electronic joystick that automates all the blade functions. The computer on board allows me to keep a grade within one centimeter without the use of the traditional surveying stage. They say the uh, operators refuse to grow up. Their toys and their sandbox just get a whole lot bigger. With so many crafts to choose from and excellent earning potential, being a craft professional is an exciting way to be part of construction. Or you may choose a career in construction management, which offers a wide range of options from project superintendent to project manager to executive management. One way to prepare for a career in management is to enroll in a construction management program at a college or university, and then take advantage of internship opportunities. I'm a second year intern with Hensel Phelps Construction Company. I attend Virginia Tech University where I major in building construction management. I started off in mechanical engineering at Michigan State University and wasn't really suiting me very well and I discovered construction management and got right into the program and just fell in love with it. Really enjoy it. I started off coming out of high school and I wanted to be an architect and then I realized I wasn't very good at drawing buildings so I decided I'd go build. As an intern they give us responsibilities both in the field and in the office. I am I'm really learning a lot with uh, this project. Um, getting to know the plans really well. I'm a bigger fan of the field to start with, so I try to get out here as much as I can, sometimes more than I should, just to see things going up, um, to see my work in place. Really, it's all about communication. You really need to know and communicate really well with all your subs, everybody that you work with. It's a very teamwork-oriented field. You have to be in communication with our project engineer, project manager. Even between the office and field, there's a lot of communication, just to make sure it goes smoothly. And while those buildings are going up, it is important to work safely. If you choose a career in construction, make safety your number one priority. We emphasize safety as the most important thing in the company. If you work safe and you work smart, you can have a great career in construction. Safety is absolutely critical. 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 <laughs> I work in data classification. Um, basically what I do is I type in uh, numbers that they give me and then I, I send, them, uh, send them somewhere. Uh, I don't know. My name is uh, Robert, but my, uh, my parents call me Bob. And uh, this is my cubicle. Also, I, I have these papers here and I, uh, and I stamp them. And then I uh, put them in this pile. Yeah, they, they said I might get a window. I'm on a list. Yeah, I see myself here pretty much until I retire, until I retire, until I retire. Not a beats being in the office and sitting down all day. I don't like to sit around on a computer. I like to get out and do stuff and work with my hands. This gives me a chance to work with different people and do different things instead of doing the same repetitive thing every day, day after day. It's not like you just do a bunch of paperwork and stick it in the filing cabinet and you never see it again. The tangible results are really rewarding. There are many people just like you with the desire to work hard and to succeed who chose construction. People like Wayne Griffin, who after being laid off during hard economic times, decided to start his own company. 
So I went for my first check for unemployment, and the lady was rude to me, and I decided to start my own business. I told her to keep the unemployment check and begin my own company. We have built an organization predominantly from the basement of my parents' home to be $111 million in volume last year, one of the top in the nation. It's nice to know that the opportunity is there, that you can take your skills and knowledge and take them anywhere in the United States. I have several more students who have gone on and become apprentices in the apprentice program and then have pursued journeyman's licenses and have received also master electrician's licenses and now they own their own business. Everybody that graduated had a job. You can go anywhere in the country and get a job in construction. If you're looking for a career, if you're looking for opportunities to establish your own potential, the construction industry offers you that based upon how much you want to make that investment. I was an apprentice graduate in the sheet metal industry and not in my wildest dreams that I would think that I would be the administrator of all apprenticeship programs in this country. I work for an electrical contractor and one day I'd like to own my own company. You can make a lot of money. Uh, you have a lot of opportunity for growth. If I ever chose, I could work for myself. In the next five years, I'd like to be a foreman for Griffin Electric. My goal is to be like a general superintendent of a job, to run the whole job site. My career goals are to become a, a project manager or a vice president of operations. The trade is a never-ending experience of many great people, many great professionals who are willing to help each other if your commitment is sincere and your will is never-ending. A world of opportunity with choices, mobility and advancement. A profession that is vital to our economy, that'll demand your very best. And at the end of each day, you'll feel proud to be part of it. Choose construction. Choose construction. Someone has an idea and I make it happen. I really love my job. I can get a job anywhere. It's a great job. You won't regret it. Choose construction. Our industry builds America. My future's looking real good. I'm part of the team that's building America. Build Your Future 2002 was brought to you through generous contributions from 3M, Associated Builders and Contractors, Associated General Contractors of America, Caterpillar, Delta Diversified Enterprises, Hensel Phelps Construction Company, KBR, Peter Kiewit Sons, Prentice Hall, Wayne J. Griffin Electric.